A good president would be someone with a, a good personality, someone who gets on well with people, both the ordinary people and the heads of state and all the very important people that the president has to meet. Someone with a bit of humour, who can relate well to people, and who mixes with the public well. I think a person who engages, I think who engages the normal person like myself. I think they should be fair at all times and be very trustworthy, of course. I think a good president is someone who's brave and honest and a good person and who basically does the right thing and not the easy thing. A good president would be a person that is able to respond quickly to the needs of the people and that um, a president should have a vision in the future for the country and its people. Yeah, I think there should be a president. I think it's someone that everybody can look forward. If you look at Ireland and you don't really know it, if you look at the president, she's a person who represents most of Ireland. So I do think it's a big impact that we have someone that she's symbolic to us. So it's someone who we can look at. So it's someone who people can judge us by. The President of Ireland lives here, in Aris and Uchtheran in Phoenix Park. Our President is Mary McAleese. One of the most important roles that the President has is to, what they say, uphold the Constitution. And um, I know whenever I was uh, inaugurated as president, that's one of the things that I promised to do. I swore, in fact, an oath to do that, to uphold the Constitution. And the other thing that I swore was to put um, my abilities at the service and welfare of the Irish people. Well, um, I think she has a very important role. Well, first she, firstly, she protects the um, rights of the citizens and also she welcomes heads of state and when travelling abroad, she promotes Ireland abroad and that's very important for us as a country and a nation. I think the role of the President of Ireland is to represent the people of Ireland and she's the first citizen and she represents them abroad into different countries. Uh, the role of the President of Ireland, in my opinion, is uh, basically to protect the Constitution and to uphold the principles of that constitution for the Irish people. I've always been delighted to welcome many groups of young people to Aris and Uchtaran and to talk to them about some of the issues that they face in today's world. The President of Ireland is our first citizen, the guardian of our constitution, and our ambassador on the international stage. There have been eight different presidents of Ireland. The first was Douglas Hyde, inaugurated in 1938. Then, Sean T. O'Kelly, 1945. Eamon de Valera, 1959. Erskine Childers, 1973. Carol O'Jalic, 1974. Patrick J. Hillary, 1976. Mary Robinson, 1990. And Mary McAleese, 1997. Boris and Neutron is the official residence of the President of Ireland. From here, she upholds the best of our past, promotes citizenship, travels abroad to meet and support the global Irish family and signs the laws of our country. Well, Aris and Neutron is a spectacularly beautiful house. located, as you know, right in the heart of the Phoenix Park. So it's surrounded by 1,700 uh, acres of the most exquisitely beautiful parkland with the zoo and all of that and the gorgeous Chesterfield Avenue that runs right through it, from, taking it from the city centre out to the suburbs. And the park is a place that is really, really used. It's 
people are here all the time. The place is just always exploding with life. There's always, particularly on a good day, you see Dublin at its best as everybody decants out into Phoenix Park and it's great to see it used. And then inside the park, this kind of oasis that is Aris and Oak Duran. It's an open place that thousands of people come to and I hope feel very at home in. As a house to live in, it doesn't feel oppressively grand. You know, it feels, it feels welcoming. It feels as if the Irish fulture has, you know, permeated the wood and permeated the structure and it comes in through the Donegal carpets and it's, it's in the place. There's a fulture in it that I hope people experience and feel. It's a very happy place to be, actually. It's a very, very happy house to live in. It's a very nice place to work in. Uh, it's uh, very different. Every day is a different day. I organise the private events here, dinners and lunches that the President of Martin would host. As you can see, it's a very nice place to work. Um, there's, uh, the house is beautiful, the gardens are beautiful. And you have to leave a good impression because we work for the President. So you have to reflect herself. If uh, we're happy doing our job, then the guests and the President is happy. It's an honour to work on it, I and mean, one should be very proud of working as a gardener in the garrison of Australia. Particularly in surroundings like within the Phoenix Park. And you can say to yourself, well, I'm responsible for the grounds. The President's garden, if you like. People love to come here to the house, because the house is fantastic, and the gardens are colourful, and they love to see all that inside, and then it's a nice opportunity for them to come and meet the President. Well, as you can see, it's beautiful surroundings. It's really gorgeous, like to come in every day and you've got this, we've got fantastic stables situated in the Oris grounds and it's just a lovely facility for horses. And then you've got the Phoenix Park right outside the gate, which is great. We have a fantastic team working here in Oris and Oakdoran. It's very challenging, it's very re rewarding. Uh, very seldom two jobs are the same. A lot of important people come to the house here. We meet the people at the main door. We bring them through to the state reception rooms. Um, we make them at ease and we go and we bring the president to meet these people. So that's one of the main functions that we have in the house here. The President is commonly regarded as the guardian of the Constitution. The constitutional role of the President has a job description that is very well set out in Bunrut and Heron, which is the Irish Constitution, passed by the Irish people in 1937. So any President coming into this job is very lucky, you know, there's a very clear job description. The qualifications are actually very simple. You have to be a citizen of Ireland over the age of 35. We've come to Oris and Neutron to learn about the constitutional duties of the President of Ireland. We want to find out how a bill gets signed into law, so we are going to ask someone who knows all about it from a first-hand perspective. A bill will start, a discussion about a subject will start in the Dáil or it could be the Shannad. Once it's passed through the Shannad then, uh, the two houses effectively of the Oireachtas, it comes to me, it lands on my desk and my job then is to be sure that it is consistent with the Constitution. If I have any doubt about that, then what I do is I ask advice from the Council of State. And then I will decide, am I going to sign it? Or if I still have doubt, I'll send it then to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court then will decide, is it constitutional? And if they decide that it is constitutional, it comes back on my desk again, and then I sign it. And if they have a doubt or if they decide that it's unconstitutional, then it'll go back to the doll and go through the whole process again and come back on my desk again. And that's how, that's how we get our laws. It's very important that the relationship between president and government should be a very open one, that there should be very good contact between them, opportunities for each um, to brief uh, the other. So I would have very regular contact, for example, with the government. To, um, to talk through um, where, um, where we're going with what we're doing, where it's leading, 
where it's leading Ireland and how we can use our best endeavours um, to work fluently to make sure that the, the job of president and the job of government, uh, that they are both working um, to put forward the agenda which is the welfare and service of the people of Ireland. But it's important we have a president because there's no other country in the world that doesn't have a president or a head of state or a king or a queen of some kind. The president's very important to us because the, pre the presidency is above politics and party politics and that's why it's the president who welcomes foreign ambassadors and heads of state here. I think it's good to keep politics out of the role of the president because as the president is representing the country and everybody has different political outlooks, then it's good to keep it neutral. I think a primary role too of the, of the presidency in terms of its constitutional role and one that's been particularly important to me is the role of president in the Irish Defence Forces. The constitution states that the Defence Forces are placed under the supreme command of the president. It's a role that's very important to me, it's one that I greatly value. But of course I don't have any function in the day-to-day -day operations of the Defence Forces. I am, however, very, very proud of their work, and in particular, their work in peacekeeping activities right around the world. In every way, you're a showcase for your country, and every little aspect of the job is important. The President's role is also representational. The President is Ireland's first citizen and represents all Irish people at home and abroad. I undertake a programme of visits, extensive visits abroad, as previous Presidents have done, in order that the good name of Ireland that has been built up by centuries of endeavour, by the hard effort of men and women who went before us, people like our missionaries, People like our peacekeepers, our defence forces working with the United Nations. People like previous presidents, previous governments, and in particular, our emigrants. These are people who have taken the name of Ireland into every single corner of the globe. And I can tell you there are, I, I doubt if there's any nation anywhere in the world that has so many friends as the Irish are privileged to have. Today, we give our children the gift of the biggest European Union ever. The President of Ireland is its primary ambassador to go around the world telling the story of Ireland, refreshing those friendships and also telling the new story of Ireland because no two presidents in a row have had the same story to tell. Ireland has changed so fundamentally from the day in 1938 when Douglas Hyde first walked through this door to today when um, I tell a very, very, very different story of this extraordinary Ireland, now regarded as one of the world's great uh, dynamic economies, one of the great success stories in the European Union. The President helps us build a strong sense of community in Ireland with an emphasis on social cohesion education, marginalised people, and of course, young people. The President of Ireland, under the Constitution, is Ireland's first citizen. And I interpret that um, as being a role that involves me deeply, implicates me deeply in the cultural life of the country, the civic life of the country, and in um, building up our civic life, in celebrating and strengthening our culture in doing all the things that build us up humanly, that make life good at home, whether that means um, encouraging young people, for example, to take on the Goshka Challenge, to strengthen themselves, to test themselves so that they'll turn into really brilliant young citizens, whether it means encouraging volunteers in all the spheres that voluntary work is done in Ireland, and there are thousands of them. You can't have a good country without good citizens. You can't have a good family without good people. You can't have a good community without good people. People who commit generously, unselfishly, to helping to build up, first of all, themselves, because that's the first basic building block of the human person, the self. 
And if we build up that one human person, and if they commit to building themselves up, then we don't worry about them because that's one strong person now. And that person's going to become, in time, you know, a good mother, a good father, a good colleague at work, um, maybe a good politician, um, a good friend. That is how you build up community. I think that the role of the president will change in the future as the culture uh, of Ireland will change accordingly. The role of the president is going to change because the president is head of the Irish family abroad and as we're now part of the EU that's more and more important. It's an incredibly diverse job, so many strings to it and impossible ever in this job to be ever bored.